Hey, this is Presh Tawakar. Solve the following equation. 81 to the power sine squared x plus 81 to the power cosine squared x is equal to 30. Set the condition that x is greater than or equal to 0 degrees, but less than 360 degrees. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. This is an absolutely delightful equation to solve. We'll start by noticing that one of the exponents is cosine squared x. We want to put things in terms of one variable, so we will use the equation sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. We'll solve this for cosine squared x by subtracting sine squared x from both sides, and now we'll substitute into this exponent. So we have sine squared of x in one exponent and 1 minus sine squared x in the other exponent. But let's further simplify this. Let's let u be equal to sine squared x. So the equation is then 81 to the power of u plus 81 to the power of 1 minus u is equal to 30. Since x is between 0 and 360 degrees, u will be between 0 and 1. So 81 to the power of u will be greater than 0. But in particular, it will not be equal to 0. So you always want to check this so you're not dividing by 0. So we can rewrite this equation as 81 to the power of u plus 81 divided by 81 to the power of u is equal to 30. From here, we will multiply both sides of the equation by 81 to the power of u. Again, it's important we check that 81 to the power of u is not equal to 0. Otherwise, we'd be multiplying both sides of the equation by 0. You don't want to do that. So let's further simplify this equation. We'll distribute through on the left-hand side. So we have 81 to the power of 2u plus 81 is equal to 30 multiplied by 81 to the power of u. We'll subtract 30 multiplied by 81 to the power of u from both sides. So we have 81 to the power of 2u minus 30 multiplied by 81 to the power of u plus 81 is equal to 0. We'll make a further substitution so that the equation will be a little easier to understand. Let's let v be equal to 81 to the power of u. So the equation is then v squared minus 30v plus 81 is equal to 0. So we've simplified this equation to a quadratic. And as it works out, this quadratic equation can be factored. We have v minus 3 multiplied by v minus 27, and that's equal to 0. So this gives us two solutions, v is equal to 3, and v is equal to 27. So we'll just work to get to x. So we know that v is equal to 81u, so that means 3 is equal to 81u, and 27 is equal to 81u. To simplify further, Notice that 3, 27, and 81 are all powers of 3. In particular, 81 is equal to 3 to the power of 4, and 27 is equal to 3 to the power of 3. So we can further simplify that 3 to the power of 1 is equal to 3 to the power of 4 raised to u, and 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 4 raised to the power of u. We can use exponent rules to simplify, so we multiply these exponents here, and now we can simplify this further. We have 3 to the 1 is equal to 3 to the power of 4u, and 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 4u. So we want to equate these exponents. So 1 is equal to 4u, and 3 is equal to 4u. This gives that u is equal to 1 over 4, and u is equal to 3 over 4. So now we just need to transform back to x. So u is equal to sine squared x, so sine squared x is equal to 1 over 4, and sine squared x is equal to 3 over 4. Taking the square root of both sides, we get sine x is equal to plus or minus 1 half, and sine x is equal to plus or minus root 3 over 2. As it works out, these are special values. So we have our 30, 60, 90 right triangle. So sine of 30 degrees is equal to 1 half, sine of 60 degrees is equal to root 3 over 2. 
So one solution, sine x is equal to 1 half, we have x is equal to 30 degrees. But we want to solve for x in the range of 0 to 360 degrees. So let's draw a unit circle. Here we have a triangle of 30 degrees, one angle, and this is one value that x is equal to 30 degrees. But we could also have this triangle with 30 degrees here. This will give the angle of 180 minus 30 degrees, which is 150 degrees. Here we have another triangle with 30 degrees. So we want the angle here, which will be 180 plus 30 degrees, and that'll be equal to 210 degrees. Finally, we have this triangle here. So this angle will be equal to 360 minus 30 degrees, and that is 330 degrees. So that's all the solutions to sine x is equal to plus or minus 1 half. We can do the same thing for sine x is equal to plus or minus root 3 over 2. Here we would have this angle equal to 60 degrees. So the solutions would be 60 degrees, 120 degrees, 240 degrees, and 300 degrees. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.